welcome to Katrina's Creations. This is episode 247. I've got lots and lots of finished objects. We did a lot of little objects this week, so let me get started here. Um, Kim, a friend of mine who you all have seen with us knitting together and things, her sister-in-law works for a hospital as a nurse and they were desperately in need of little baby hats for the newborns. Uh, apparently the lady who used to make them sadly passed away last fall from, well, you know what happened last year. Um, so anyway, uh, so they are desperately in need of baby hats. So I started making some baby hats, which is really fun because they go really quick. They're easy to make. So let me show you a few of them. I have a mix of knit and crochet. So here's the first one. And I love the little square hats with the little double pom-poms. I just think they're cute. So there's the first one. Kind of looks like Mickey ears, but I think they're cute. Then we have this little one and I put a little ribbon on it. I did have... You can see here on the back, now this one's crocheted, I did do some front posts and my whole thought originally was to thread the ribbon all the way around and then tie it. I did that and then I was just afraid of it being too tight because it took care of the stretchiness. So instead I just tied it around one of the front posts. So it has kind of a scallopy little edge to it. So there's that one. This one I think is one of my favorites. It's kind of a little slouchy, sunbonnety type of hat. This one is also crocheted. I'm not using any patterns really with this. I just kind of did it. But I like how this one turned out with this little brim. And this yarn, I don't know what it is. Um, I don't have the label. It is, I actually made a cowl out of it years ago, so don't have the label, but it's the type of yarn, see if I can hold this up well enough, it's the type of yarn, there you can see it, it's the blown, it's like a tube, you can see it in the gray there, it's like a tube of netting and then the fibers blown into it. It is super it is super, super soft, um, but I love the way the colors are. It's like it's got these like neutrals, and then all of a sudden you get these bright pops of color that come through. So I thought that was cute, and I have enough here to maybe make a second one. Then we have this one. This one's crocheted. This one I did use a pattern for. I'm just not real happy with it. I mean, it, it will do, but it's a little pumpkin hat. Um, I wasn't real happy with how my vines turned out and the stem at the top. But it's my first attempt at a little pumpkin hat, so I'm working on another one. I just got it started. I just cast on, so I'm, I'm not even going to show it to you because I didn't get that far. So we have that one. And then lastly, we just have a little knitted one with a little pom-pom. So those are the baby hats that I have worked on. Now I've been working on dishcloths. Now last week, you'll remember, I had been working, these are knitted. And then I had also made, and I forgot to bring them up, two, uh, I had two of these, two in the variegated, which is one light, it's just holding a light and a dark blue together. And these are knitted. This one actually has some yarn overs in it, so you can see it's a little bit more lacy. So I did have two crocheted in the uh, light blue. I forgot to bring them up. One is done in the corner to corner, and the other one is like an eternity type of stitch. So I made two blue ones. So these, will be, these are going to be sold at a craft fair, and they're going to be sold in packs of three. So here is... This is the one that's kind of a Trinity pattern. There you can see it. It's two rows of single crochet that are clustered together in three. 
and then the third row is double crochet um, in clusters of three. So um, I have that pattern and then I have a corner to corner in the blue. So what will happen is the corner to corner, um, the multicolor, and then a light blue one that would be in this pattern. And then the other package would be this one, which is the, the Trinity stitch with this one and then the light blue that is the corner to corner. So they'll be in packs of three. And from what I could see on Etsy, I asked some of you all last week, what did you think was a good price? And I didn't get any answers. So I actually went on to Etsy and kind of looked around. On average, they're selling between three to six dollars a piece. I think six is a little high, but I'm figuring if I sell them in a group of three, I'm going to do them for nine. And then once I sell individually, I'll sell for three fifty. So then I have one last set, and this one, and this one is solid colored, and it's kind of a salmony color. So this is the knitted one, and then this is the corner to corner, and then this is the one I'm calling it a Trinity stitch. I don't know; it's some kind of a cluster stitch. And there's that one. So they will be sold and packaged in groups of three. So that is my finished objects. Now my work in progress, um, I'm working on the shawl. It's the Begonia Swirl Shawl by Carfield Ma. Now here's the funny thing with this. I only have 20 more rows to go before the edging. This is not very big. I was thinking this was going to be a much deeper shawl. I'm still on my first skein of yarn. I still have quite a bit of yarn and it called for two, for two skeins. So I don't know. I don't know how that's going to work out, whether I'm going to have lots of yarn left over or maybe the edging takes up an awful lot of space. I'm not sure, but so far this is not a real deep pattern at all, but that's what it looks like. I mean, it's, it's a very easy pattern. There are like 11 of these kind of swirls or swoops, whatever you want to call it. They're calling it a swirl. So there you can see it. And I like the colors in the yarn. The color is called Angelic and this is Painted Desert is the name of the brand. So that's my work in progress that I've been working on. Now I thought I would show you the yarn I am making the dishcloths out of. Um, this came from Hobby Yarn which is H-O-B-B-I-I. -I. I think it comes from Turkey. And it was a package like this. I have no idea how much I paid for this. This has been years ago. Um, but yeah, there's a total of 10, 10 skeins, two blue, two green, two light blue, two of the salmon, and two of the yellow. And I had two packs. I've already gotten through a lot. I haven't used the green, and I haven't used the yellow yet of the other pack that I have. It is called uh, We Love Yarn. It is, each of these skeins are 50 grams or approximately 170 meters. And it's 100% cotton. It is thinner than your average. Uh, it's not worsted weight. It is more like a sock weight. So I am holding them two together, which is why I've got double cut, you know, like two colors going at the same time because I'm trying to get close to a worsted weight. So I'm holding them double when I do this. So, but this is the yarn that I'm using for it. Now, before I go to show and tell, I was watching something interesting this week and I thought I would share it with you because it's from one of our viewers. Uh, Spring the Fiber Enthusiast, that's Spring Nolker. Uh, she actually uh, has her own YouTube channel and she did a two-part tutorial on tatting. Um, it's, there's different types of tatting. Now, if you've never heard of tatting before, it's making lace or la making lace edgings. There's two ways to do it. You can needle tat or you can tat using two shuttles. Um, I've tried the shuttle form before and ended up with a giant knot and my little arch is going upside down. 
and yeah, it was a tangled up mess, but it looks like it would be fun to do. So she did a two part tutorial on how to do needle um, tatting. So if you want to check that out, go over to her channel here on YouTube and yeah, give it a look see because she really did a very good tutorial on it and her I wish my early tutorials had looked like that because hers is nice and clear and you can see what's going on. Uh, so anyway, she does a good tutorial. If you're interested in checking it out, go over and take a look at her channel. So that being said, let's check out what you all have been making this week.
Now in our acquisitions, I have a sort of funny story. Yes, one more. Um, I got my knit crate in. This is June's knit crate. It was running behind because of the whole shipping issues that are going on. So I got this and it's it's pretty true to color finally it's it's a deep deep purple it's actually single spun so it's not plied however they they actually spun black yarn and deep purple so when you initially look at it it looks black and then you look in certain lights and you can see it's almost more of an eggplant color um the yarn itself is vitalana oasis and the, this particular color is called Phoenix. It is 50% alpaca wool, 25% Peruvian Highland Merino blend, and 25% Surrey alpaca. It's a DK weight, and there's 250 yards or 230 meters per 100 gram skein. So I have two of them. So here's the funny part. They ran this really, really super good sale. Now, if you're, if you're part of Knit Crate, you get what are called stash points. Every time you get a knit crate for the month, you get, I believe it's 25 stash points, which convert to dollars that you can discount off of buying like whatever's left over. Because when they finish their sales for the month, whatever's left over, they put up for grabs at a discounted price. So if you want more than two skeins so you could make something with it, um, you know, that's more substantial than the patterns they give you, you can do so. Well, they were offering like, 60% off the already discounted price because you're a Knit Crate member. It came out to $8 per skein for luxury, like, alpaca yarn. But here's what Katrina did. Katrina forgot what color she ordered. How I forgot that fast. Uh, first off, just to save myself and not look quite so stupid, um, they didn't have any of this in single skeins available. All they had was in groups of like five. I don't need five skeins of this. But for some reason, in my head, I thought I had bought the kind of rust color yarn. I have no idea. I can't. I just can't figure out what was going through my mind. So I have two random skeins of rust colored alpaca yarn headed my direction that will not go with this color. And, uh, it's not like I can put them together because purple and rust would look really, really weird. And like I said, the color is showing up pretty good up here in the craft cave today. So you are getting a pretty good idea of how deep, a deep purple it is. So I will use it on something. Um, I'll have to combine it with something or I don't know. We'll do something with it. But at, right after I ordered it, it dawned on me. I didn't get that color yarn. What was I thinking? So let me show you what I actually ordered by accident. Uh, the magazine this, this month. Uh, okay. These are the colors it came in. I ordered the one right below it. That one right there. That's what I ordered by accident. Yeah, it's called Tucson. It's not going to go with my purple. Oh, well. So here are the patterns. They had two shawl patterns that one is crocheted, one is knit. To me, they look very, very similar. And sometimes they do that so that the patterns are interchangeable. But here are the two, the knitted and the crocheted pattern. And then the socks, they have a knitted and a crocheted pattern. So you always get two skeins of yarn, you get uh, four patterns, and it is $24.99 plus shipping, and the shipping is $7.90. It comes out to almost $38, so it is a little pricey, so you have to kind of weigh the odds whether it's worth it to you or not. Um, I get a discount on it. One of the, one of the skeins, are, normally they send me two crates. One is one they just send me as a influencer for them that, that I don't pay for. The other one I buy, and I usually have a discount coupon for it. Once I run out of discount coupons, I will probably not buy mine anymore. Um, just because if I'm going to spend that much money, I want to pick out the yarn that I get. Um, although I picked out the wrong color anyway, so what did it matter? But anyway, yeah. 
I don't know what I'm thinking. Next week, or next month's, which is July's, and it should be coming fairly soon, is going to be these neon colors. That could be interesting. I don't tend to wear neon, so, um, yeah, but it could be fun. We'll see. I have no clue. We'll, we'll see what happens with that. But that is my acquisitions. Now, our Wednesday video is going to be making one of these. Now this is a scrub, well you could use it for a couple of different things. This could be a dish scrubby. It is made out of, this particular one is made out of tool, like what you use for weddings. But you can also make these, they end up extra super scratchy if you make them out of like the netting, um, which is like a wider honeycomb. It, it's a rougher texture. Uh, but they can be dish scrubbies. They can be exfoliators. Although I'll be honest, this one, even though it's tool, is rough enough, it would probably take a layer of my skin off. Um, but I also use them in my, in my bathroom to um, scrub my tub with. I know what you were thinking. That would be painful. But <laughs> no, <laughs> I, I use them to scrub the tub um, because I can put scouring powder on them and they have just a rough enough surface. They're not going to scratch my fiberglass tub and I can scrub the bathtub ring off of it. So um, anyway, there's going to be a tutorial on how to do that. So that will be Wednesday's video. Now it's time for... Now in our Come and Get It, we have numerous items. Nothing's really on sale as of the filming of this video, which is on Thursday. So you know what happens. If I run across a flash sale or something, I will post a short little video. It's always written in, it's always yellow with black writing, so it catches your attention. So if you see that, you know there's a sale someplace. But we'll get started. Knit Picks. Now there's Knit Picks, there's also We Crochet. They are the same website. Um, they, they sell the same stuff, they sell the same yarn, just We Crochet caters to crocheting, and Knit Picks caters more towards knitting. Okay, but it's all part of the same company. But anyway, Knit Picks is having a sale on their needle cases, like their interchangeable needle cases uh, that are like the vinyl ones you can zip, you know, like zip up and put all your cords in and stuff. They are having a sale on those for like $11.99 in their clearance section. I will put links to everything I talk about down below in the doodly-doo, the description bar thing, it'll be, or description box. Yeah, it'll be down there. So um, that is Knit Picks. Now, We Crochet and Knit Picks are also having 40% off of all of their books. Uh, that would be their pattern books, things like that, 40% off. They are also having a sale on Yarn Swift cases. So if you have a Yarn Swift that like folds up and you take it places, mine stays like bunched up and tossed into the, into the shelf. But if you have a case and want a case for one, they've got one on sale. They also have chart keepers, which are, and I also have one of these too. It's a, it looks like a notebook, but it's like metal and it's like covered in a vinyl and then it has magnets. So you lay your pattern on it and then you use the mat magnets to hold the pattern in place and it props up so you can read your pattern easy. And then it also has like long strips of magnet where you can like follow your pattern line down as you go. So it's called a chart keeper. They have that. And they also have some shawl pins on sale. So that is We Crochet. The Dollar Tree has upped their game a little bit. Um, they're finally realizing most people do not want to order over 100 skeins of yarn. It used to be if you bought some of their yarn, you had to buy huge amounts, which were just totally ridiculous. But right now, I only ran across, I think, one or two that required you to buy a, an entire case of 100 and some skeins of yarn. But they have Premier Just Yarn in worsted, in cotton, and I saw some gray chenille. It's a dollar a skein. Now you do have to buy the whole case, but in most cases, no pun intended, but in most cases, the case is only 12 skeins of yarn, which is very easy to go through, especially if it's a bulkier yarn. So uh, that is Premier Yarns, and it's just their, uh, the Just Yarn brand, 
and they have it, like I said, in the worsted, the cotton, and in the chenille. Just make sure that you only have to buy 12. It's, it's written right on the page. You'll see it. Uh, so that's Dollar Tree. Leisure Arts. They have vintage knit and crochet patterns, the digital version of them, for 50 cents. Yeah, I found it by accident. Um, so I thought I would share it with you, but they've got all kinds of like vintage knit and crochet patterns over there for 50 cents a piece. So um, worth checking out. And there's several pages when you, if you click the link down below, it's just going to take you to the first page, but you can keep clicking through and look at all the patterns and stuff. Uh, so that is Leisure Arts. Lion Brand is having crochet craze granny square projects. Now, I didn't see anything that was on sale, but they just had a lot of things that were Granny Square related that are going on right now. So that's worth checking out. And then lastly is Annie's. Now, I am wearing the Chamisol Tea. This was done. Uh, it's a pattern from Annie's. It's one of their signature patterns. And I will try not to butcher the poor woman's name. You all know when I've, I've made two of these sweaters and every time I massacred her name completely. Uh, but it is Lena Svagerson. See, are you proud of me? I said it in one word without getting it all tangled up. So it is Lena Svagerson, and this is called the Chamisol T Knit. I will put a link to this specific pattern, and right now it is on sale for $3.99. Now the thing I like about this, like I said, I've made it twice. It's a top-down knitted uh, tee. I like it. If you can see these little puckers right here, it has just this real light, delicate gathering right here. And it makes it fit so nice. And then it's got these sleeves here. I mean, it is a simple pattern. You're just basically knitting around until you get to here. And then you cap off the sleeves and then you just keep on going. So very easy pattern. It's, it's fun to do. It's a fast knit. And I've made two of them. And if I lose weight, I will probably be making more. Although this one, I hope even when I lose the weight that it'll still... Um, fit. I hope it'll have enough give in it because I really like this one. It's 100% cotton and it's really comfortable and I wear it a lot. So, uh, and by the way, um, if you missed my bariatric journey video this past week, I'm down a total of nine pounds. Yes. I don't know if it's showing anywhere other than I may be losing some brain matter since ordering the wrong color of yarn. That might be where the weight loss happened. I'm not sure. But, you know, anyway, um, I'm excited about it. So this week's videos, what is coming up? So Wednesday's video will be a tutorial on scrubbies. There is no bariatric video for several weeks now because I don't have anything going on at this point until my psychiatric behavioral evaluation thing, which is on the 21st of September. So until then, I really don't have any doctor's visits or anything to even really talk about. If something happens that I get in a closer appointment, because I did say I'd take a cancellation. So um, if for some reason there's something to share, I will. But right now there isn't anything for the next few weeks. So I hope you all have a wonderful week. And if you've liked this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't already clicked that little red subscribe button, please do that too. And if you click the little bell-shaped icon beside it, it will let you know anytime I post a video, which is Saturdays and Wednesdays. And most of the, well, lately it's been Thursdays too, except for like the next few weeks. So that's what's going on with me. I hope you have a wonderful week and I'll see you all later. Bye everybody.